What's up, people? What's up, three viewers? <laughs> uh, Comment if you made this far. <laughs> yeah, <literally. laughs> There's no comment, bro. But it's like, like you just opened like, up a video and like, like it's it, no people. Who's watching this? Me, you, and like forty bucks. Maybe my sister. Maybe your sister. Mm, I doubt my sister. Well, there you but, Not even our sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe your sister. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'll give a shit. You know. It's so funny. Like so many people have told me, like friends and stuff, to uh, send them a link for a podcast, and I'm like. You're not gonna understand one second. Yeah, I know. Why do you want to watch this? It's like you have to find like an audience beyond yourself. Yeah, you know, for this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, like if you have a cousin who watches One Piece, amazing. Yeah, <laughs> Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Send, send them over. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. So, uh, for the topic for today, I want to discuss one of the theories that I have for the series because you know when the whole Song God thing started. I was like, hmm, interesting. Let's dig into the files and see what we find. And what like people point out is like the first time we hear about the song god is in Skypea, mm-hmm. right? But actually, like in Skypea, we like learn about four other, yeah. like three other gods in the in the flashback. Yeah. And then, do you remember what the gods were? Uh, it was sun, moon. No. Right? No. Earth or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so yeah. So it's the god of exactly. the sun, the god of the forest, the god of the rain, and the god of uh, yeah. the earth. Oh, and there was a theory that dragon was a, uh, the rain god. Yeah, I think the dragon is the rain god yeah, for okay, sure. Yeah, okay, I've heard that. And so I wanted to talk about that course, true. because I uh, I have candidates for each of these four devil fruits, mm-hmm. I okay. think. So uh, let's start with... Oh, well, obviously, we already know Nika. We don't need to start yeah. with that one. But maybe we start with dragon since we already revealed that. Like, because okay. obviously, like, dragon has been, like, theorized to have, like, a wind or weather fruit. Yeah, because of lockdown. Yeah, basically. yeah. But mm-hmm. not just lockdown, but, like, not only lockdown because, like, the whole, like, storm started, but also, like, in the ASL flashback when he just, like, makes the fire part, like, with, like, what seems a blast of wind, like, all mm-hmm. of a sudden appears, mm-hmm. you know? And so that's obviously something that, like, for a long time, people were, like, dragon has to have the um, the... Aerologia or the weather paramecia, you know, something like that. Yeah, that's the thing. And what do you think it is? Is it the logia or the paramecia? I think it's a Zoan now. <laughs> I think it's now the rain. Yeah, fruit. that's the thing. So <laughs> weird, but, but like, do you actually think they're just gonna make like other like primordials within? The yeah, world? that's what I think. Do you have, uh, what actually like troubles me and is come on. I mean, already look at the. Do they have enough say? time. Like, I, I think the final saga, like, can only be so long. And like, if you're gonna actually introduce three more, like, look at all the run-up we had had with Luffy to actually get into this, um, like, potential Nika. I don't see how, especially for Dragon, that we have, like, nothing apart from maybe 20 minutes of screen time. Just make him a, another mythical soul. And is it all, like, within the family, they're mythical soul? It's like... No, Garp is a pure red exactly, hockey exactly. guy. Exactly, that's what I think. He's that's a pure red mean. hockey guy, Garp. You that's what I mean. I, I don't know. If it, I would, it would be a little crazy that like both father and son got Yeah, like, exactly. Uh, that's what I don't but, know if I, I'd buy. But I just think it works well because like it's like the way I'm thinking about who has these fruits mm-hmm. is like all different parties that are like diametrically opposed that like would never be on the same side yeah so like dragons obviously like another force within the you know the revolution yeah, 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 yeah. on the force and obviously you know like the whole like saying about like the winds of change and all that obviously there has to be a weather or like that doesn't necessarily have to make it a god fruit yeah but now that we know that god fruits exist and like now that, like especially like the gore say is like something that's like really weird to me like Clearly, like the amount of people who now have like the little cloud thing in the back yeah. mm-hmm. is increased so much. Yeah, yeah, it's increasing big <laughs> time. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So yeah. like, clearly, there's like some some weird class of devil fruit that that we don't know of. Honestly, like you remember, you remember when they said like mythical zones were the the rarest kind. Yeah, I think there's more mythical zones now than there are like logia. <laughs> Possibly, <laughs> I think at this point. I mean, but, but I was wondering like. So let's imagine that uh, he, he does have a mythical zone that um, actually makes him this wind god, right? Mm-hmm. Why hasn't he done anything more important at this point if he's that powerful, like Nika level? Like I know he's almost like well because he's someone against someone who's more powerful. 
I mean, against Emu, who I, I'm guessing that you think is another. Um, yeah, I definitely think Emu is Rain. No. Rain no. is Rain is the dragon. All oh, right. No. Wait. So it's uh, sun. It's rain. It's forest. And it's what earth. else? And earth. Hmm. Um. Earth. Earth is my theory for Emu. Why? Because like, the whole like okay. So where do pirates reside? Like the whole theme of the series is like freedom versus oppression, right? Yeah. And so like the sea is freedom. Mm-hmm. And like people who control the earth are oppressors, and emu. You know what the Japanese word for sea is in no, I Japanese? Uh, I said Japanese twice. <laughs> just, <laughs> All right, no. It's umi. Okay. So okay, umi so he's is the, the word of... for sea. Yeah, okay, okay. okay, okay <laughs> he's yeah, the yeah, opposite okay. of the sea, which like to me is like a somewhat dead end thing. But also like one reason that I really believe that is the earth. Is because like the the overall conflict at the end of the story, in my opinion, is gonna be over like ownership of the earth, right? Yeah. Like who's in control of it, and that is like the same fucking theme that happened in Skypea, right? Like who has like rights over the earth? Yeah. And like there's a lot of like the, not only is that when we introduced to these four gods, but also it's a fight over the earth, and at the very start of the arc, and I can show you like this picture. I can put it up in the. Okay. And, or I can like show it to you later. There's like there's like a a totem or something made from earth that symbolizes an earth god. And there's uh, yeah, I don't remember that right now. Yeah, it's like at the very beginning of the arc when they're like in the in this like the Skypea area, they haven't made it to the earth yet. They just see like a totem made of earth like in the middle, and like the way it was presented really seemed like foreshadowing to me. Okay. But in my opinion, I think that like. Not only is it like, not only do I think that like thematically it fits, but I also think that like logically it could also fit because there's like a big theory that the red line isn't uh, man isn't natural. Yeah, I've heard that theory. Too. And for that, you would need some sort of like earth fruit, earth power. Right? Yeah, I see that. And like, who lives on top of like the red line? Yeah, but where I see the problem, maybe, and maybe you have the answer to to my doubts here. Is so yeah. Uh, recently in Egghead, we discovered that uh, the world's gonna flood again, mm-hmm. and I've um, seen it as the will of uh, Emu and the Borosei for that to happen. I, I don't think it's uh, an event that um, they're just like bracing towards. They they actually are actively wanting to flood the world. How does an Earth primordial fit into that flooding? event that's gonna happen and dead in the past too like he has less earth than he did 800 years ago which is when I guess but I also don't necessarily 100% subscribe to that idea at the same time but like honestly like if he has the earth fruit he can probably just like if he can raise up the red line yeah he can like kill everyone and then just raise new islands yeah yeah I guess (laughs) but but, okay so why do you think the, the initial flood happened do you have any theories for that? I have very, very few theories for that. I got all And my why is it going to happen now? Any theories for that either? Like, do you think it's going to I think, yeah, I have, a, I have a... Actually, what, what I'm thinking is, like, the opposite of what will make something flood. Because it's, like... Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, like, one big event that should happen is, like, the destruction of, like, the red line <coughs> at some point. Yeah. In some way. But, like, wouldn't that mean, like, water comes flooding in? Like, yeah, it's what I mean. I mean, like... The whole idea that, like, you know, like, sea levels rising, like, how do they rise in our world? It's, like, a combination of, like, ice melting versus ice freezing, right? So, I have no real clue, like, how it's happening. Like, Vegapunk gave an explanation of, like, that it was happening, but I never, like, really understood how it was happening. Did you understand how it was happening? Vegapunk's message has been, like, so... Obscure. Yeah, I know it's like it's like needlessly confusing. Yeah, for someone for who no like reason. wants to like share the truth. Like if he's so smart, yeah, yeah. wants people to know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. For <laughs> someone who wants to like share the truth, it is needlessly confusing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but other than that, you know, that that's true. Like I don't have the answer for that. Like I don't know, like if their attempt is to actually like um to like make the word world uh this is this is, I I don't think they want to make the world like flood. Because it's like, if if the, it was something they could do, that I feel like they would do. But like the whole point of the world government is to like bring balance to like the whole nations on the earth, right? I guess. Well, like in the planet, we don't we don't know the name for the yeah, like, planet. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, exactly. uh, but like, 
is to bring like control to all these countries. And so I think like if they just wanted to destroy them, that it's would be like one. it would be like unnecessary to do a lot I of. I agree. Rebuilding. Like the recent revelations just like makes motivations very unclear right now. Yeah, I I I am of like of the subscription of like it's happening anyways because of things they do. So they're bracing themselves. Basically. Yeah. So like they're basically like they don't want a mass panic or rebellion. Which is why they don't want people to find out that they're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah, you I know, mean that, that's like that that's, that's, that's my interpretation, right? It's not that like they want to flood the world; it's that the world is gonna flood, and it's like, well, we don't want to lose our position of power by like having people go crazy. Yeah, that that's actually such an interesting like thing that probably we're gonna get more into as the story continues. Like, yeah, why is it to flood? Yeah. Like, but why could it be like? It's it's like strange to me, like because I'm like. I, I'm interested in, like, how much it's supposed to, like, flood, because it's, like, at some point, you're just gonna run out of water. <laughs> like, yeah, that, like, <laughs> where's the water creation? Yeah, 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 it's, like, it's, like, are the ice caps melting? Like, what's, like... Or maybe it's, something's it's coming like, out of the water, too. Like, is more water getting created somehow, but, like, from where? Oh, wait, so just I just came up with this. This might be bullshit, because it's really quick thinking. Okay. But maybe... So yeah, uh, Roger finds a One Piece and he isn't able to actually activate or whatever the One Piece says. He isn't like, um, he can't use what the One Piece says to its full extent and is actually waiting for a next generation for someone to do so. So Luffy. And we're, I think it's pretty easy to assume that the Nika form is going to be very relevant in terms of him being able to use what the One Piece says, right? Yeah. Don't you think that would have something to do with I'm not entirely sure about that, because it, it felt more like a choice rather than a limitation for the Roger Pirates. Do you uh, think so? Yeah, like, oh no, they, they did say we were too early, I guess, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Choice. And, like, I've heard of a lot of the theories, actually, recently, that um, Laftel is probably, um, like, inside the water. Like, it's not a, an island that is um, an exterior, right? My theory about that is that it's under Reverse Mountain. That's my mm. theory. But... Well, that's the thing, like, what I was thinking... Yeah, it's definitely not, like, an island you can get to sailing. Like, maybe I, it I might agree. be raised after that, and that's what causes a massive flood. I, I don't know, this is me, like, thinking... But it's, like, I'm trying to, like... <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm trying to think about, like, the level of flooding, like, at least yeah. in our world, is only based on, like, the ice caps and stuff like that. Like... Obviously, like, the water cycle will just make it so, like, the same water's in the system mm-hmm. and the temperature doesn't change. Yeah. So, like, I feel like if something was moved, like, the end result is going to be, like, the water can't really, like, change that. Yeah, that's, it'll feel like that's what opening. I'm thinking. Like, like, imagine in New York, like, just a new Manhattan just came out of the water. What would, like, what impact would that have on, on maybe North America, you know? Would it have much of an impact? I'm like my my question about it is like, and obviously I'm not a like geologist to be able yeah, to actually, it, yeah, but it's I'm like so, so obviously like you're raising like the the earth and it's like so yeah. what are you doing? Are you making like the earth less dense so you can make it more volume? Yeah. Maybe. Are you like a shifting like how much like you're making the magma core of the planet bigger? You know it's like. It's a confusing thing to me, science-wise, obviously, yeah. and I don't necessarily expect. I mean, there's also one piece physics. Like, yeah, there's also <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah, there's that's also very true. Yeah. It's like yeah. this thing, like people can stand in clouds because it's super thick. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you have to take that shit with a grain of salt. Like, yeah, one piece. Like physics you can mine clouds. And yeah, nah, nah. yeah, I don't know. And another thing that I'm very much um, doubtful of is if someone's going to be actually um, responsible for what happens in terms of the flooding, or is it just going to be a, a natural uh, event or cycle that happens every certain years in the One Piece verse? I think it'll be a consequence of certain actions. Probably. But I'm, I, like, I don't think it'll be like necessarily like intentional. Like, I'm thinking like if, like a, if a lot of terraforming was done like in the Void Century, mm-hmm. And maybe like now, like it's a slow process for like the waters to react or something. Then like this would be a consequence of that. But the other thing that's like weird to me, like should like, because one of the like ideas that like I thought about was like uh, you know like stuff like Lucia getting evaporated. You know like mm-hmm. like was that helping? But that would be the opposite, right? Like if land just disappeared, like let's say like it literally just evaporated into plasma or like air particles. 
then like the water level should drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because it's like it should be trying to like fill that that void. Uh, so I don't think like yeah, it's definitely but maybe like the creation of the red line is what like made the water levels rise because you like like I imagine mean, that, that, that would make the water levels rise because it's like if you put a whole red line around the entire planet, then like there's less available space for the water to be. Yeah. So therefore it would like the, it has to be the same volume. So therefore it would have to like rapidly like go up. My question is why would that take 900 years? I feel like it would be way yeah. faster than that. That's my confusion there. But that, obviously that would be like a logical thing. That the red line, like maybe the red line is growing the whole time or something. Maybe like, that, that would kind of make sense, I guess. Maybe, maybe yeah, they, maybe like they're like they, yeah, maybe. But what I don't understand is the motivation within it. Like, why do you want that to happen? I mean, if we haven't even like uh, yeah, this, explore the red line at all as a mass of like land. Like, what I don't, is there? From there? what I understand, like no one lives there except those lesser dragons. Like in the We're entire. So area. big, and we don't have like a number of celestial dragons like to warrant such a big like mass of land. You know. Yeah, I think like the whole idea is like it's meant to like separate the mm-hmm. people or something like that. Uh, you know, like make travel and like communication hard in the world yeah. or something like that uh, and they control it because they control the red line and the people so it's like you know like if you want to like traverse this world you either have to like without the like the government like letting you do it you have to either like go through the calm belts which are filled with monsters yeah, yeah. you have to go like to Fishman Island which is like obviously like if your bubble breaks you're dead <laughs> yeah. uh, or like yeah there's only two options basically to traverse yeah. this world like Correctly, or somehow get like above the red line like the German did with like the snail mm-hmm. boats uh, but obviously these are very difficult methods that yeah, like, you have to have like that 95 percent of like humans just cannot like yeah, yeah, yeah like entail and so like the only like the way that normal people like actually make it to like the other side of the red line is like through like the gondolas and stuff okay and in that sense like the, the world government like controls all this transportation and communication that obviously gives them like a lot of power over people. Yeah. Okay. But, okay, but but getting back to emo and being. But yeah, I'm obviously like I don't think we can like answer this. But, but you're well, just just finish. Your yeah, yeah, like um, getting back to emo and him being the the earth god, like yeah, let's assume that um, he did raise a red line, right? Mm, that's the yeah, opposite. So. Like, if that were the case for me, he'd just like intrinsically be so much more powerful than any other person in in the verse right now i don't see how nika like <laughs> jumping around is gonna be a dude who just like grew a massive land around the whole world i mean you do have to like understand that we've only seen like the very very start of luffy's like awakening i think yeah i agree so it's there. like yeah maybe like luffy's like end of story Insane. is gonna be like making the world rubber right <laughs> 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 that would be crazy. Yeah, that would be like, yeah. <laughs> that, that would be like, but yeah, like honestly, I don't think like if if these things are truly gods, mm-hmm. like on that level, then like, yeah, why why couldn't they? Do yeah, this I stuff? guess. But, okay, but playing devil's advocate, so he was that powerful, he was we, that powerful. He, and we already uh, like have physical evidence of his power with the red. Yeah, light, yeah right? like, he did that in the eyes. So why do you think he needs um? Uh, the weapons, what are they called again? Uh, uh, the ancient weapons. The ancient weapons. Why do you think he needs them? I don't necessarily think he needs them. I think he... Like, well, obviously he they're more using useful. Uranus a lot, right? Everybody. To my understanding... Like, I mean, I don't understand how weapon. much, but like, we've only seen it once. In the, like, they didn't even send it for Rohara. Yeah. Which is true, like... True, true. You know, like, which would you would think is like prime mm. subject, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> you, think, you would think Rohara is number one, like, subject for like... Like, the only person it was, like, used against was someone who'd seen uh, yeah. Emu, right? True, true. Like, that was the only person that it's been used against, and so that was Sabo. And yeah, then, well, exactly. Like, I don't think we, we can actually, like, attest to how powerful Uranus is, but Neptune... I don't see how Neptune is posing any, like, sort of threat towards someone like Emu, you know? Bro, Neptune... But uh, the thing is, like, I still think that, like, Emu is stronger than, like most of the ancient weapons like maybe like not way all. more i'd say yeah like decently but it's like i definitely th- i definitely think emo's stupid powerful like uh but i mean it's not the first time like would you think like obviously like 
And it's like this way, like just because you're capable of more disruption doesn't mean you can't lose a fight to Luffy. Like, yeah, obviously, like NL is a very different circumstance because yeah, Luffy won the max. But bro, like category. But man, like uh, yeah. NL was like generating enough lightning. I guess I guess it was through the machine, but like to destroy an entire island. Yeah, and so like that's NL crazy. crazy so that's what I'm saying, like. And obviously, like, the reach of, like, Crocodile's fruit is, like, much more powerful than the rubber fruit was in Alabasta. Yeah. So, like, just because he's a lot more, like, attack power, like, higher range yeah, yeah. than Luffy doesn't mean that he can't win. Like, that Luffy can't beat him. You know? Yeah, I agree, I agree. Because in the end of the day, just, Luffy just has to break through the walls to get to Emu and, like, destroy no, I, this I, guy I in the face. I he's going to get way stronger. Like, how, how long do you think we have until we actually get, like, a, a confrontation between Emu and <laughs> Emu? Like, like cool. chapters-wise. 200? Yeah, I'd say even more, honestly. I think it's like, from what Oda's been saying, and I don't really believe him that much, but he's always yeah, been saying no like, he's always been saying like five years, five years, and five years of Oda chapters is like 150 to 200 yeah. chapters. So it's like, I definitely think it's going to be like the last 10, 15 chapters of the story. And how's the but whole like, like Blackbeard saga going to fit within that, you know? I think that Blackbeard Saga is the next saga, bro. I think that like, I think right that like I think that Elbeth is gonna roll into Blackbeard like smoothly. Yeah, I agree. And I think that that I think that Elbeth and Blackbeard is gonna roll immediately into Laugh Tale. And I okay. think that after that is gonna be and the and I don't think that the final war will be that long an arc. I don't know why. Maybe I'm like, but I'm you have to give it it's like, time. Because you know? like, like, because. Oh, you mean like character-wise? Yeah, yeah, like the nice thing about the final act, the final arc is that technically this is a conflict that you've been like setting up the entire story. Yeah. Right. So it's like that's why Marine Ford like didn't need that much more setup because it's like, uh, and you already know all these people, right? You already know like ninety-five percent of these characters. Yeah. They've already acted in the story. Like you're you're uh, meeting Sengoku like a little bit. You already kind of know him. Yeah. You're meeting a Kainu, uh, and the rest you like you're meeting uh, Whitebeard, I guess. Well, no, you already know Whitebeard, but, like, you're, like, learning more about them. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying, like, I don't think that, like, for the final war, it's going to be as long an act, because, like, an arc, because, like, uh, what happens when you reach, like, Wano or, like, Dressrosa or, um, or Hokey Island is that Oda has to set up, like, the first 30 chapters just to introduce characters to you. Yeah. Right? So it's, like, he, he has to spend at least, like, 40, 50 just setting up the conflict. Whilst the final conflict is already being set up. Yeah, I agree. Right? The final and conflict so, like, you itself. Can, you can sort of like skip to act three. In a way, like, you know, like, you imagine could. every arc is like three acts. I agree. You're, like, the whole story is act one and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, that would just be act three. What just think. worries me is, like, I think you need a lot of lore dump for uh, the Gorosei and, and Nemo. I think we'll get, like, a void century flashback. Probably. But we need, a, like, how many flashbacks do we need at this point? Like, it's kind of crazy. I'm. To me, God Valley. to me, that's the only one that we need. Obviously, there's some that I don't want. We need there's to some that I want. Zebek, we need to see. Yeah, we need right. we need Zebek, that's for sure. But that, that, that for me, like, Zebek, I think is Blackbeard, right? We've talked about yeah. this. Mm -hmm. But for me, like, Zebek is, like, also the Blackbeard flashback. Uh, oh, obviously, okay, you need okay. a Blackbeard Damn, flashback. Damn, that would be crazy. Like, that, to me, like, that's what it is to me. Uh... So I think that like depends how you structure them because obviously you need a Blackbeard flashback and a Zebek flashback. But if these are the same, then there's one flashback. Yeah. <laughs> right. You need a Void Century flashback, uh, which obviously, bro, like Void Century, please make it at least fifteen chapters. I I, yeah, I need I so mean, much information, so bro. Long. I need to under like I need so long. I can't I can't get a montage. I I need no, to like no, no, have no, like. I need to feel like the the emotions that these people felt at that point. And don't you need some kind of uh, dragon flashback? I think so. You probably do. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. You need. You probably do, long. but it doesn't have to be that long. No, but it doesn't it, have to be like a ten or like not an older. I think thing. like two, or three chapters would be enough. Uh, in episodes wise, what what did you say? Three episodes. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly I agree. I agree. Yeah, like yeah. as long as, as it's very dense, I agree. Yeah, because yeah. we have like Dragon. We have the benefit of having seen him uh, like like a little bit at least. Like we've seen him in the uh, in the Kuma flashback. We've seen him in the in the ASL flashback a little bit. We know a lot about him from, like, Sabo and Ivankov, at least, like, yeah. a decent amount. Um, and so, like, I want to see, like, what he thought about justice and why he quit the Marines and yeah. why he became revolutionary. I definitely think you can do that in three chapters. Like, I don't think that, like, 
I yeah. don't necessarily think that you need like that much for Dragon. But I think it, you also have more or less of the responsibility in those chapters um, to tell the story of... Because he's the same age as Akainu, and they were probably like, pretty close friends, I'd say. Then maybe you can do both together. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, I think. You can, like, maybe you do like five chapters for the both of them. Yeah, it would be like a, a very... Like a young Akainu, and then a very, very young like a Kizaru or something like that, or OKG. Yeah. That'd be really cool. I hope. Oh, that would be cool. Like, if Dragon and Akainu, like, are, like, were, like, mates before, like, he left. I think. That, that would be amazing. That would be so cool. That would be super cool. We might, maybe a Shining Splash, like, maybe something like that. True. But I, think, I also don't think this has to be, like, super long, like, in my opinion, because we already... Depending on yeah. what happens to Shanks. Like, if, if you kill Shanks, I think you need a flashback for Shanks. Well, depending on how much sure, time you spend mean, with him in Elbaf, you know? Like... Yeah. But at the same time, like... Like, we already, like, I don't know, like, the, the his backstory was basically the Roger backstory, which we sort of did get that. Kind of, yeah. But, uh, so, it's, it's like, weird to tell, but there's probably, like, at least, I would say, like, 30 chapters of flashback left in the story, at least. And at like, least. Yeah. Like, really, at least. I'd but, say 30 to 50. But because, like, I think that, like, every arc, <coughs> like, the amount of setup that needs to be done is less and less... Because I don't think we're gonna like. I think we already know like all the big players. Yeah. Like I like the only people that I think is gonna be like a bunch of new names is gonna be the giants, and after that, like, there's it's, it's only gonna be like Blackbeard pirates, which we already know. Yeah. It's gonna be like the marines, which we already know. Yeah, I'm trying you know? to think. Well, I guess like a little bit of like God's knights, but that's like not that many. The I God's don't think, knights. I forgot about the God's knights. But I don't think I don't think they'll be that important. Me neither. But like. Like, he did kind of set up Fingerland to be, like... I think Fingerland so will be important. Yeah. You'll have a, a big fight. Maybe Zoro fight or something. I don't know. At what point? <laughs> that's right. Zoro has yes. to fight. So it yes. has to have uh, the Mihawk fight. Like, that's crazy. I think it'll happen in Elba. A Mihawk fight? That would be crazy, but... No, that would be but nuts. <laughs> put, it, put it to you like this. Put it to you like this. Okay, so... Oh Shanks, God, Shanks, okay. Luffy... Uh, Shanks, Luffy, Day back. Hosted by Buggy the Clown. <laughs> I don't know what would happen. But, if, so that would make Mihawk have a reason to be there. And it would be, bro, and it would be Buggy and Shanks together for the arc that Shanks is probably going to die in. That would be fucking amazing, bro. The, the reason <laughs> I can see Buggy actually uh, coming to Elbaf is because he knows that Shanks knows how to get to the One Piece. Okay, yeah, yeah. I that, see actually, that. I can buy it. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. And so like, <laughs> Buggy in his mind, he's like, dude, so like these guys are gonna fight each other out, and then we kill them. And it's gonna be like Buggy's gonna be like festival, festival, and then kill like plan to kill everyone, but something's gonna go terribly wrong because it's Buggy. <laughs> but, and then at the end, Blackbeard's gonna yeah, I think Blackbeard's gonna arrive at the end and just fuck shit. That up. does make sense, and, and thematically, it's perfect. That would be amazing, in my opinion. That's how that would be the best arc in One Piece. That would obviously be the best arc. <laughs> <laughs> and an arc that has like Shanks and Luffy reuniting with Buggy and all that stuff and like Mihawk Zoro fight and Blackbeard and getting to and the, the, red, and the red pirate uh, the red hair pirates like see them yeah. in action that would be Finally. the greatest arc oh. and yeah but obviously like I mean we can still talk about it if you want but what? like the, the the arc no no that's I'm right thinking like, that, uh -huh. but yeah I'm, in my opinion like I think given like the sea versus earth dichotomy and the battle from the earth, I think it makes sense that we attack the person who is in charge, like who's the king of the earth. Yeah. It's Eamon, you know? Like, okay. Yeah. So I think that's like that's why to me, like thematically it fits very well. Like one like extra theory on top of that, I think that like his like double awakening or whatever, like I think he's gonna have like the power to like telekinesis basically. Because like Luffy like it like gives freedom and is freedom, and I think that he was gonna take away freedom. Yeah, I see it. Right, so it's gonna be like very telekinesis based stuff, I think. So we have sun, we have rain, we have earth, and we're missing forest. forest yeah, forest is the one that's like that's a confusing one. Like. Forest is the one that's like honestly, I don't know what to do with this one, but I think the only obvious candidate to have one of these fruits has to be Blackbeard. It, right? Yeah, that's the obvious right. answer. Like that's how the, I because I, I, obviously like. The, th the theory goes that Blackbeard's gonna have three elk fruits, right? Or already has it, who knows? But like the theory is that he's gonna have, because there's like three skulls, three elk fruits, that's yeah. the whole idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? 
And so he already has the Paramecia and the Quake Quake. He already has the Logia and the Darkness Fruit. Yeah, he just and he may already soul. have it, but we don't know that he has a third Devil Fruit. Or he will get it. But hmm. I think you, you I know think because it could fit to be the Forest Fruit. But you, I have some ideas of what it could be. But I mean, it's like, like man, it's all speculation. And how does it work with Green Bull? He just has like a plant fruit, no? Yeah, but it's very similar. Like, what could a forest a devil fruit be? I think it's like I think it's, like, I think it's like it's different, right? Because it's like, like, so I, like I'm thinking about Swamp Thing right now. Like, just be one with the green. <laughs> like, I don't know that that's necessarily like what I'm thinking there. Okay. Because it's like one the, one thing that's like weird about like the the God Devil Fruit, at least in the case of Luffy, mm-hmm. is that like it's only his awakening that is like the sun god, right? Yeah. And, it, and honestly, like, what the fuck does fire and sun have to do with Luffy's powers? I have you know what I mean? No Absolutely idea. nothing. You no know, idea. so it's like, it might just be metaphorical. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. that's that what I'm saying. Like, perfect sense. It's like, it, the powers may just be metaphorical, right? Like, the well, only one... Dragon. I mean, what they, we've seen. they may or may not be metaphorical. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, the thing. that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, obviously, like, if we assume that they're all metaphorical, then like, Emu can't have the earth fruit because that's actually earth powers. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, Dragon can't have the rain fruit, be- like, the rain god fruit, because that's actually, <laughs> like, weather powers. But it's, like, I think it's more of, like, what these people represent, what these gods represented, right? I agree, yeah. And so, like, to me, like, so sun in, like, one piece represents freedom, freedom and, like, happiness and joy. Earth is control. Earth is, like, the riches, right? Like, that's, like, the okay, whole... Okay, yeah, I see what you The mean earth there. is, like, the the thing where people live, right? Like, the home of the people and the riches of the earth. Like, that's sort of, like, the theme there. Okay, I see it. Um, the... For me, like, rain is, like, change. Like, what I was, that's what I was saying. Like, uh, rebellion okay. and, like, you know, like, uprising and stuff like that. I can see that, too. Let's change. And to me, what I think about when I think of forest, and which is why I think it sort of fits with Blackbeard, is, like... A dense forest that's completely covered in, and everything below that is dark, right? And it's something that like hides in the shadows or something. Obviously, not as perfect, but like I yeah, think that it sort of fits. Where it's like the forest, like depends what forest you think. Like you think I mean, about like, you a nice forest, but if it's a scary forest, no, like I, the I, one I in Lord of the Rings where yeah, the yeah, tigers are, I think <laughs> then think, like, dark. if you're gonna come to that conclusion, I don't think you should actually be thinking about the fruit. You should be thinking about the character, like Luffy. Yeah. Is yeah. Freedom. Right? So, um, yeah, Dragon probably. is exactly what you said, change. Emu is probably going to represent, um, apart from uh, the riches of the earth, he's going to be that control and like groundness of, uh, of. Yeah, it's like control, like keeping things together. And and what's like, Blackbeard? That's the, the part that's like, um, like probably someone because like, he's freedom too, in a way. Yeah, but he, I feel like he's like the destruction aspect of freedom. Yeah, like the Which chaotic is, like, aspect of yeah. freedom. And it's like, Honestly, I don't know how that's gonna connect to the forest, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The forest is definitely the one I'm the least sure about. But like, if these like if these three gods exist, which they don't necessarily have to, like mm-hmm. the like the, the four gods don't have to all exist. But I think it would be like some really nice foreshadowing, like from Skype and retrospect. But like, yeah, it might be. I mean, it could be. It could also easily be. Um, imagine. Okay, so you did have Anika, and he does represent the sun god that we got in Skypiea. Mm-hmm. And um, green, someone who had a, a green bull's fruit in the past could also represent for them a god of the forest. Like, it doesn't really have to be this super powerful. Wait, I'm going to so look up if we know the name of green bull's devil fruit. Yeah, Which, sure. I mean, like, ah, we sure used we to know the name of the gomu gomu fruit, but they're not going to give the fucking god fruit to green bull, bro. No, <laughs> I, okay. Like, my, my argument here is not that they gave him uh, the god fruit. The My argument is that it fruit. wasn't a god fruit, but he was considered a god uh, because of his powers at the time, you know? Maybe. Uh, same as uh, rain could also just be a logia. Uh, and but I guess it's interesting, like... So I do you think that, like... Because my, my belief is that... Uh, I'm going to say what my belief is, but it's like... So you think that, like, these people, like, had these powers, and these powers were named on the people... I have a different belief. No, this is not a belief. This is me more or less playing devil's advocate. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I mean like this, the the, yeah. the Blackbeard theory and the like the 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 the, the tree and like the whole yeah, thing yeah, that has yeah. happened like it's obviously <coughs> not necessary. Yeah, yeah. But like, for me, it's not that like, let's say that someone had the like the tree devil fruit. Like for me, these god fruits, in my opinion, like replicate the soul of people who have these powers naturally. 
Okay. I don't think they had devil fruits. Fruit. I don't think that Nika had devil fruit. I think Nika could just do what it does. And his essence just was and his essence off was fruit. put into a devil fruit. That's a because that's what a I believe. Theory. That's what I believe theory. the whole idea within like the One Piece world is is that like anything is possible through will, aka hockey. Yeah. So. In my opinion, there were these like there was like an era. Of, in my opinion, there was like an era of the gods, even before the void century, right? Yeah. Like, I think that there was an era of the gods where they like literally could do anything through hockey and through willpower and their belief, and their stuff. And they were like could do stupid stuff, you know, what Nika does or what yeah, yeah, does. Yeah. that shouldn't make much sense. But if through willpower and dreams, like Delford of the embodiment, the, the embodiments of dreams, then like anything is possible. Then like I think that this could be very like it could be done like that, and then the god fruits, whichever exist, are like the extracted essences of these people's souls. Yeah, I, I see that. down afterwards. I, I can see that too. Like I think that would make the most thematic sense in to, in terms of what we've seen, um, but it can become very complicated, especially with the forest, <laughs> because yeah, I yeah. really don't see any other character apart from Blackbeard, like. And so, and that's what I, that yeah, title that's, that's definitely what I also think. I, I, I do think that the, the nice thing is that it would be a zone fruit, which is like the different kind that Blackbeard doesn't have. Yeah. Uh, and so, like, that's why I think that Blackbeard is the best fit. I just don't think he's nearly as good a fit. As yeah, like, the thing is, like, I have no clue what, no, the, and, and apart what from, the forest fruit could yeah, be. Yeah, I agree. I, I have I, no I, idea. I'm either. like, I had a theory back in the day that Blackbeard had like the parasite zone because that was my, like the Zebek thing mm -hmm. that like he like borrowed into Teach oh, as a kid. I see. So it's like yeah. maybe the forest fruit if he does have it could do something like that. But I got no clue, bro. I got like, forest would be life, you know. The yeah, life like fruit. parasite is sort of like you know I you dig your you dig your roots such into a something. Dirty and, way. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I would never call that the forest fruit. But it's like maybe it's like it wouldn't be like you know like what if like. Zebek like burrowed his roots within Blackbeard or something, you know, something like that. Or he plant. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, I don't know. Like, it's, man, it's, all, I don't know. it's all speculation, but I think like. Well, maybe Zebek isn't even like the guy. Maybe he was just like another victim of that parasite fruit from a primordial. That would be crazy, past. bro. That would make sense. That actually would be or insane. More sense, actually. That would be like that would actually be so crazy. Because like my fruit is like my fruit. My, my ideal is like oh my god, like Zebek's still alive and like. He's yeah. manipulating stuff from like 40 years ago. And it's like, <laughs> this is actually Black Sad 2, but done well. <laughs> yeah. But you haven't watched one, you haven't watched Naruto. But like, no, but I've but you know, you know the idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's literally like some guy has been like forming the story of like ninja history for the last thousand uh -huh. years. Yeah. And it's like a character that we never heard about was the reason why. But I feel like, I feel like that would be good like for Blackbeard because we already know like Blackbeard for so long time in the story and at least Blackbeard's not Imu so he's not the final final antagonist right? yeah, yeah, yeah. so we it's like that. it's not the main theme of the series so I think it would be pretty pretty cool honestly that would be crazy bro like it's like you thought, it, you thought it you thought was me Blackbeard actually said ah it's Zebek you thought it was ah it's Zebek it's actually me yeah. the <laughs> god of the forest <laughs> yeah. never gave my essence away to anyone I've just been alive until now that actually be that'd be insane so cool now that I'm thinking about it, that would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fucking awesome. I don't know how I would. I would see how the, how it would play out to justify hating Black Setsu and liking Black Beard. Yeah, that was it. No, but actually, hey, I'm proud of this podcast because I think we just came up with a new theory. Like, I don't yeah, think anybody's yeah, yeah. actually thought I about honestly, that one. I honestly don't haven't heard the idea. Me neither, like before, at bro. all. Well, on, bro. hell yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that happens, bro, like this book is gonna explode. Yeah, <laughs> like, to the three viewers, <laughs> God bless you. To the people who weren't watching, fuck you. <laughs> what do you mean who were watching? Who weren't, weren't watching? watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like... <laughs> you should have been watching. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean... Okay, so it's like, that's like my, my whole idea for the four gods. Yeah. Um, how long have we been recording, then? What I don't, I don't know, but I, I think we covered the, the subject pretty well. I think it was a really cool subject, actually. I, I didn't know we, we were going to get into so much depth, but good part. It's what's part This is an analytical part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, of course. But it's like, I, I'm just like so happy to speak about like this uh, theory because it's like, like, it's one of the things that made me like, when I was rereading Skypea, like, I was like, oh my God, like the sun god is mentioned and he's not the only god that's mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, bro, this is like actually like, 
I don't know, something that could happen in the story. And I think that thematically, to me at least, it like makes a lot, a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. And I, I think that like, you know, what you were thinking about like, oh, is like year five getting cheapened through like Bonnie and stuff. And it's like, yeah, maybe. Or maybe we're just about to see all this insane shit come up. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, you thought Gear 5 was special? Hey, brother, there's four more like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, that, that to finish this off, like, Bonnie would maybe also be a candidate for the forest fruit in terms of how crazy her devil fruit is. Maybe, you could say like, like cultivation a, kind of thing with her future exactly. stuff. Exactly, it's the only other character part from back here. We're thinking Blackbeard because he has such an important part in the story, right? But Bonnie, in terms of power, like Bro, potential the thing is, power, like, I, 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 and I, I don't, if I don't remember it correctly, like her fruit was one of the fruits that were there in the God Valley incident. Mm-hmm. I, it, that actually does sound familiar. Yeah, and so too. like, given that would mean that it wasn't the the and the world government's employee, I cannot see them giving out like another like a like a you know like even like fucking with a uh, god fruit you know what i mean like oh you know what who knows what might happen to it give it to the idiotic celestial dragons instead of the gorosei and evil being like no one's touching but this shit I, what i see uh, as a counter argument to that i think the only reason why they had the nika fruit like so like the eyes are on it is because of joy boy he was such an important um like figure of the past but no carrier of the forest zone maybe was that um important within the 800 years Maybe. maybe like I think it's yeah I think because you don't maybe, maybe, yeah. you know it's a mythical sword by seeing it can you study it maybe I don't think so like yeah. you know when you eat it you know what I mean like I, like I wouldn't say you necessarily like, yeah it is weird that like the Nika Nika fruit is just like a purple exactly. sphere that's exactly <laughs> what I mean yeah. it's like yeah like it, it's exactly like, what I mean I guess it may be like you know people I guess maybe the first Devil Fruits created, like, people weren't thinking about the cool designs. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't thinking, like, bro, do, why don't we shape this phoenix fruit like a phoenix? Or, like, <laughs> or why don't we shape, like, the soul soul fruit like a star? <laughs> it would make more sense. <laughs> yeah. It's like, maybe when they were, like, the first Devil Fruits created, they were like, all right. Yeah. Bro, it's like... But yeah, I'm, honestly, like, maybe it is, like, I think that, like, yeah, that, that fruit is so strong that you could see it maybe being the forest fruit, like, for its, like, uh, rising stuff, but I, I feel like Bonnie's, like, a weird thing to me in the story, mm-hmm. because, like, she seems to have been getting, like, a lot of importance, yeah. like, like, recently, and in my case, like, uh, let's say that he did have, like, these four th- god things planned out by, like, Skypea, mm-hmm. right? Uh, let's say he did have planned out. Like, obviously, you don't need to show Emu because you want to do the big reveal later in the story. But we're already like Dragon appears at one hundred chapters in the story. Blackbeard appears like is first mentioned in uh, Drum Island. Yeah, <laughs> that's the first time that Blackbeard's mentioned. So you know, like you know that he's someone who was there from the start. And like, my weird thing to me would be like. Um, all of a sudden being like, oh, this character, like, I feel like if when, like, uh, obviously Oda gave this power, like, way back in Sabaori, like, I think it would be weird, like, to not make Bonnie more important. <laughs> like, I don't yeah, know. Like, it feels it, like... To me, like, I'm afraid that we're falling into a place where we're just giving importance and, like, um presenting new characters that are way too important to the story too quickly. Yeah, and too late. We're running and out of too time. late in the game. Yeah, we're running out of time. It's like, yeah, bro, you can't... In my opinion, it's like... That's one of the reasons that, like, I did not fuck with, like, the, the Kaguya reveal. Because it's like, it was literally, like... She was mentioned at, like, the very start of the last arc mm-hmm. in Naruto. And I'm like, mm, I would have liked you to have done that a few arcs earlier. Yeah, yeah, I You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like... That's why Madara was so effective. I know you haven't watched it, but Madara was mentioned like in like the first half of Naruto, and then he was like a big deal was made about him like at the start of like the second half, and then when he gets like brought back through like the reanimation jutsu, it's like oh my god, okay, like yeah. one of the gods of Shinobi is here, okay, okay, you know what yeah. I mean? And That's it's like, I mean. and you're left like jaw dropped because like his, 
like he's so built up in your mind that it's amazing. But when you create a when you introduce a really really important yeah, character, I agree. like at the very start, it's like bro, I care about Shanks, I care about Blackbeard, I care about Akainu, I care about Imuna because he's been around for three hundred chapters. Yeah, and it's like I don't care about this new character. Just like like fulfill yeah, like, the promise of the previous characters before you ask me like like if it's the end of the story. Like I'm not gonna. It's impossible. Yeah, because Oda kind it's of impossible. Like, Oda kind of dug himself into a hole right now where he has so much responsibility to just so fill holes. Like, it, he just really? has to fill so many holes right now that I don't know to what extent he's actually going to be successful in filling them all. And the thing that for a One Piece fan, like, having a half-fast fill hole, like, filled hole is catastrophic. Yeah, it's catastrophic. <laughs> like, ah, oh, th- that I guy's think, job is in crazy. My, in, in my opinion, that, or- that sort of already happened a little bit in, in one or at least for me. That it's like, I feel like he has to like handle so many characters that I think that the handling of each character is less strong than like it could have been because there's just so many things. It's like, it, like in my opinion, I'd rather like Orochi didn't exist. And, you yeah, know, I, it's exactly like, exactly. But like once you make him exist, you sort of have to have him do something, right? Yeah. And it's like, that's sort of like the issue. Like, I think Oda's like addicted to new designs and creating new characters. In a way that is detrimental to the quality agree, of the story, and uh, and obviously like that was amazing when it was like I think like for me like like I think Hulk Island was like the perfect size for that. It was like all right, there's like forty important characters. That is a lot. Yeah, it it's a, lot. a huge amount of important characters. But like it felt like good enough to balance. And even then, like Hulk Island was like ninety chapters. <laughs> like it's still pretty long. And I think that like the more and more you introduce like. Like like the new marines in sword that we were introduced in the in the egghead like yeah, I I don't have space in my heart to kill a bot about like the sniper girl. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's weird. It's like I am and I am like filled to well, the and apart of from characters that, I can care about. Like, obviously, and apart from that, when you introduce so many characters, you need to tell some sort of story for these characters, and you're like actually putting. Other characters that are more important to the story to yeah, the side. Like the straw yeah. hats are suffering right now. Yeah, I think the straw hats like, are definitely time. suffering. Frankie, to me, like he's becoming invisible. Bro, Chopper has not been anything but merch. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Chopper has been nothing but merch since I don't know what arc, but maybe even pre time is good. Yeah. It's like it's been crazy, and it's like honestly, like Chopper's like Drum Island. I loved Chopper in Drum Island. Yeah. It's Bro, so like it's one of like my favorite stories ever. Also, in like, his lobby, like his Chopper's. Cool. Yeah, Chopper in his lobby was cool as hell. And like, just like every, every straw hat in his lobby was cool as hell. Yeah. Uh, but that's like that's what I like. Obviously, that's my favorite arc in the story. That's what I would like to replicate. I would like to f- have focus on the straw hats. I don't care about n- eight of the nine scabbards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be real. Yeah. <laughs> like, like if these characters never appear on the screen again, I will not care. <laughs> like, yeah. like honestly, even Momo. Like I don't even <laughs> like. I, I yeah, honestly. I get the Momo thing. It's like. I, I genuinely like don't care that much about them, and you know like there's like a there, it's, not, it's not it's not just me. It's like humans are incapable of projecting empathy on so many people, like Obviously, individuals. Yeah, and it's like a well known effect that people will care more. Like don't like like this an experiment was made. Like if you hear like a tragic story about like one person, you are more likely okay, yeah. to donate more money if it's about one person than it's about three, That's five, ten, actually, twenty. Yeah. If you hear that oh a thousand Palestinians are dying, like. Yeah. Sorry, maybe, maybe politically. No, here. no, but it's but fine. I mean, it's fine. If you hear something like that, you're like less likely to donate, like statistically, than you are like uh, if it's like one person yeah, story yeah, who you sense. care it about. Sense. And it makes sense because at the same time, like that's we can only like do empathy in a one to one relationship, and that's something that also translates to stories. Like we get like our bandwidth just for emotional like no, and acceptance just isn't big enough yeah, and, and to, to have extent, that many characters. To extend on that point, like. You're creating all these characters, but you're keeping them in the story. Like yeah, yeah. you're not because you don't kill. Because <laughs> you don't kill. You could have killed, killed, killed all the. You could such a big like. You could have killed all the all the scabbards, and I would Literally. say like, oh, they were great characters. <laughs> 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 I would be screaming the praises of Oda if he killed like five scabbards and be like, you know what? Or like, like you know what? They were all right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like at least um, I don't know if you saw them. Uh, it wasn't a meme. A post I sent uh, on the we we have a One Piece Instagram uh, like group. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so Oda said that he's gonna kill Straw Hat. I don't want to get into it because I want actually. We can do another. Yeah, the we can, one. yeah. The next one though. And right. the next one. But please, man. Uh, like, and don't just make that the death. Like, make it Chanks. Make it a Straw Hat. Yeah. And don't make it. 
Don't make it Uso. Like, nah, everybody... Uso, the Uso would be the best death. No, we'll, no, 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 yeah. we'll talk about that in the next episode. Yeah, but Uso from my opinion would be the best death. But everybody expects it. But, but I not, think, like... Um, yeah, no, we leave it for the next podcast. Yeah, we leave it for the next podcast. You know what? Let's end it there. Yeah, I, I think we're It's been a great discussion. That was a great podcast. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, solid. See you in the next one. Wow, people. Peace.